In June 2021, we established Joint Task Force Alpha in partnership with the Department of Homeland Security. The task force works within the United States and with our foreign partners in the Northern Triangle countries and Mexico to dismantle the most dangerous human trafficking and human smuggling networks. Building on those activities, last year we launched our national strategy to combat human trafficking to bring the full force of the Justice Department to this fight. The people that we're focusing on with laser focus are those that are the most significant drivers of violence in the community. One example of the Justice Department's work is the Consolidated Youth and Engaging Men Grant Program, which OVW oversees. That program supports projects across the nation to keep young people safe by providing the necessary tools to identify red flags in budding relationships and foster the leadership of teens in preventing violence. This assassination was carried out in Port-au-Prince, but as alleged in the complaint, aspects of this deadly plot were advanced inside the United States by co-conspirators and facilitators located here. We are all here because we believe that everyone in this country deserves to feel safe in their communities. Fulfilling that promise is our urgent shared challenge. CVI programs must be community-centered and equitable and inclusive. They must be evidence-informed through research and evaluation, case studies, and expert opinion. And finally, CVI programs must be effective and sustainable. Today, autocrats seek tactical advantage through the acquisition, use, and abuse of disruptive technology. And that's why today, I'm excited to announce the launch of a new initiative, the Disruptive Technology Strike Force. 